Good morning everybody, it's Minin and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we made it to Glitzville and entered ourselves as a fighter in the Glitz Pit. We're trying to get to the top rank so we can defeat Rock Hawk and get his belt, which ever so conveniently has a crystal star attached to it. The irony of it all is just so astounding. In this episode, we're going to continue on with our matches because there's literally nothing else left to do in this chapter. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez, fixing for a fight, huh? Well, all right then, let me just see here. Your next opponent will be ranked 18 in the Glitz Pit, the KP Koopas. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid using your hammer. Not even once, son. I want to see how you do when you ain't got something to beat a fella with. Now get in there and let's see you some acrobatifying. Hey, dog. looks like your next match is against me. Good luck, man, to both of us. Well, he's such a nice guy. I don't want to have to fight him right now, but I guess I had to come eventually. And yeah, if you stand right in front of the door, then you get knocked away. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. You know, it's both of our match, so can we both go at the same time? No, we have to go separate because we're enemies. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and... The Shell Machines of Doom. Yep, a fight to the finish with the KP Koopas. I'll try not to get in your way, Mario. Meet my peeps, Gonzalez. I told you we were gonna square off, and now it's on. Get yourselves ready to battle! Copyright, maybe. So we got yellow Koopa Troopas now. We're not allowed to use our hammer. I wouldn't want to use it on Koopa anyway. Uh, it's a KP Koopa and a KP Paratroopa. So they are a new enemy, so I should probably switch to Goombella. I should have done that beforehand, but I kind of forgot, and I was like... All in the mindset of, I'm gonna keep the tactic of just only using the characters I want to use or whatever. That's a KP Koopa. It's a Koopa Troopa of a slightly different color. Max HP is 4, attack is 2, and defense is 1. Looks like its abilities are just like any other Koopa, so he ought to be a piece of cake. Don't go easy on him just because you know King K Mario. That's what friends are for. King K Mario, it's a King K rule. Oh my god, can we just talk about King K rule is in Smash Bros. Like, he looks so stinking cool, and I'm really excited to play as him. I'm hoping that he'll be good enough to where I want to main him. Uh, it's just, I like having the heavy villain character that I actually main again, because I used King DDD back in the day, back in the DD day of Brawl, but then he became really crummy in Smash 4 and I didn't like him as much. And that's a KP Paratroopa, it's a Koopa Troopa, uh, Koopa Paratroopa of a different color. Max HP is 4, attack is 2, defense is 1, and its attacks are the same as your average golden variety Koopa Paratroopa. So just do the same things you always do, stomp on it, flip it, and drop its defense to 0. My head bonk is pretty effective against it too, come on, let's get him! And now we're going to switch over to Koops. And we got that point of defense that's helping us out a little bit, but I would still appreciate if I could hit with the Super Guards. I just can't do it today, though. Gonna have Mario jump on these guys now with the multi-bounce. Hey! Double power! So we can actually do damage to them while they're standing up. So that's useful. We have Super Excited for King K. Rule. I feel like I am going to end up maining him. Donkey Kong's always the character that I use in Smash Bros. whenever I play before. I could just kill them all right away. That's also interesting. <laughs> That's a lot more powerful than just double damage, then. We got one star point, even though they're a new enemy. We got ourselves a winner, the Grey Gonzalez! You did it, Mario. Wow. Wow. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Instead, we get four coins. Oh, they're stepping it up now. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Hey, way to hand out a beat down out there, man. You beat me straight up. Could swing the other way next time, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, at least he's a good sport about it. It's nice to have some friends in this area. That seems to be all grim and angry and all that jazz. Uh, now it's time to switch to Flurry. I know Koops didn't actually do anything, but still. Let's go ahead and switch to Flurry, and... Oh, looks like Bandy Andy's gone. Interesting. They, he said he was going to go out on a little stroll at some point. I think he might actually be out here if you want to go look for him. Uh, he would be in the hallways, presumably. Let's see if I could find him. There's a save block in case you want to use it. Uh, can't go into any of the other rooms unless you... Except for the ones that you're permitted to, so basically just the minor league locker room. Nothing else we could do here, unfortunately. Is Bandy Andy around here anywhere, or am I just wasting my time? Even if he isn't here, it's not a complete waste of time, because in this uh, treasure chest, there is a Last Stand badge. I thought it was a star piece, but okay. Drop damage Mario receives by one half when he's in danger. Uh, but yeah, here he is. Hey there, Gonzalez. How's it going? 
Me, I'm doing a little research. Hey, speaking of which, ever hear of the Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit? Yes, this place has rumors and secrets and spades, but the Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit are the most mysterious of the bunch. These things are fascinating me, so I wander around doing research on them. Well, so how about it? Want to hear about the Seven Wonders or not? Sure. <laughs> Let's see which one you want to hear about. Oh boy, time for a lot of stinking talking. The sealed wall. They say there's a sealed wall in the minor league locker room. Some shy, some say the remains of the fallen athletes are stored in there. Okay, at least it's short dialogue. Uh, go ahead and read the man-eating toilet. That sounds interesting. They say in one of the arena's bathrooms, a man-eating toilet lurks. Some say they that anyone who sees this toilet never sees anyone again or anything again. Oh, uh, we got the stairs of mystery. They say there's a room in the glitz pit with a second floor but no stairs. They say no one has ever gone upstairs. And some say the groaning voices sometimes uh, come from that second floor. How many times are you gonna say they say and he say and she say and all that jazz and you say, Yusuke? Um, stairs of mystery, the haunted board you are. They say that the champion's room is haunted. Some say if you keep still in the room, you'll hear voices whispering from nowhere. Some even say the voices are athletes who lost to the champion. Uh, next we got the spooky ring lights. My friend's friend's friend told me this one. He said he saw a strange light leaking under the ring doors when no one was there. He couldn't see the inside of the doors were locked, but I plan to investigate this myself. Uh, next we got the missing ones. They say sometimes fighters disappear for no reason, never to return. Some say they, the very first champion, Prince Mush, was spirited away in this way. It's a good movie. And finally, we got Grubba and Jolene. Some say Grubba and Jolene work here now. So here's the story. Once I knew this guy, who 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 knew this guy's cousin? No. Grubba is a strange one. His body's incredibly toned, even though he's past 60. He must have an exceptional training regimen. Training regimen? Was Reggie the president of Nintendo at this point? I know my body was ready wasn't a thing yet, but still, the fact that he said that and he said he has a strong body. Then there's the matter of Miss Jolene. They say she suddenly vanishes at times. Some say a fighter saw her go into the bathroom and waited for her to come out. But she never did. Huh? You think it's stranger that someone was standing, uh, staked out her bathroom? Good point. <laughs> Well, at least it was somewhat quick to get through, but yeah, those are all the mysteries of the locker room, in case you just really want to get out of that uh, locker room and uh, get some fresh air, quote-unquote, and have a little bit of change of pace, then you could go ahead and talk to him. Otherwise, you got nothing else left to do, really, but to continue on with your matches. I know, it's sort of unfortunate, but we'll just keep on going, make the best of it. Get in there, please. Thank you. Talk to the Game Boy Advance, and reserve a match. Well, boy, how to Gonzalez fixin' for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then, let me just see here your next opponent will be. Ranked 17 in the Glitz Pit, the Pokey Triplets. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid switching partners out. You gotta go with the one you bring. One who brunt with who... What the fruit? A fight to the end, side by side. Now that's drama. Now get in there and stand by your pard. I, go, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this whole party member switcheroo then you're sticking with them or whatever I guess I'll just go out with the ones I think are best I was trying to keep it like interesting stuff but I'm trying to get all the catalogs so I gotta have Goombella out for this since we haven't seen pokies before for our next battle we got the merciless executioner the great Gonzalez and the spike terror triplets yep a fight to the finish with the poke triplets we aren't gonna lose to scrubs like you. Go ahead, touch us. It won't hurt too much. Get yourselves ready to battle! <laughs> At least they're giving us new enemies this time around. Don't change partners. No problemo, even though Goombell can't do diddly squat beside Super Guard. Tattle on this pokey. What do we got here? That's a pokey! It's a cactus ghoul that's got nasty spines all over its body. Max HP is 4, attack is 3, and defense is 0. Look at those spines, those would totally hurt. If you would stomp on it, you'll regret it. Pokies attack by lobbing parts of their bodies and by charging at you. They can even call friends for help, so be quick about taking them out. 
So they could pull enemies out of the ground and create more pokies, which is not very good. And if you did have the ability to jump on them, you would be able to knock off their segments and make them shorter and easier to guard against. But we don't have the ability to jump on them right now. So for now, we're just going to use our good old Quake Hammer. Do a flipper Rooney. There we go. Let's see if we can do this. Super guard. God darn it. Uh, ouchies. And double ouchies. Okay, they can make themselves shorter by doing that as well. I'm trying to avoid using star power because, like they said, the bed in the minor league lock locker room will not heal SP. The one in the- I used the power smash by accident, god darn it. The one in the champion's room does heal SP, however, speaking of SP, don't get anything great. Uh, can't do anything with you, Gimbel, it's just defend, I suppose. And knock him over there, knock him over there, not that it matters. Oh, you could repel it back into them? I didn't know that. That's a cool old tactic, wouldn't have found that out if I finished the fight earlier, so it all worked out in the end. We learned something new today. Three star points, we're living it up now, hooray! We got ourselves a winner, the Grey Gonzalez! What did you expect, huh? We rock! Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Receive four coins. Mario's ranking rose to 17. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Time for a little chat sesh with King K. Hey, what's cracking, G-Man? Yeah, he's got a bunch of nicknames for us. You just finished beating down some poor fools or what? You're looking good, man. The old King K wouldn't mind a little bit of your luck, man. Yeah, that'd be nice. Well, come on and join us. We could have two Koopas. We had it in the first game. I wouldn't mind having you for, along for the ride as well. Get in there, you. How many times do I have to tell you? That room is absolutely off limits. If you want to remain on our fight roster, you must follow the rules. And don't think I haven't noticed you following me. Stop that too, it's creepy. If you don't obey the rules, we'll ban you from the glitz pit, understood? Again, dude? Man, you're just a magnet for trouble. <laughs> sorry, King K, didn't mean to bring Queen Nag in here. Oh, don't sweat it, B money. Jolene could take that toot and shove it up her nose. <laughs> what the fruit? <laughs> Why are you always chasing that girl anyway, man? You got a little thing for her? Shut up, Kay. Now, if you folks will pardon me, I must be off. Causing trouble again, it seems. I'm just gonna ignore it, stay out of trouble, and continue on with the fights. But first, let's go ahead and heal up. Let's see who our next partner is. Our next partner, our next uh, ranked match is going to be against. It's going to be against uh, number 16, the Glitz Pit, the Dead Bones. It's your son, this battle, I want you to avoid using any items. Empty them pockets. Real men don't need no trinkets to help them out with a proper whooping, you hear? Now get in there and knock some heads in an old fashioned way, will ya? The conditions are random every single time, so it's interesting to always be on guard on whatever it's gonna be. Uh, I guess I'll switch to Koops because he's good against the Dry Bones. I think they're all the same, and even if they aren't, we didn't have the regulation to not switch party members, so we could switch if needed, but I don't think we do. I think it's just a bunch of Dull Bones. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner and the Great Gonzalez and the Bone Bane and Rockers. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Dead Bones! I'll try not to get in your way, Mario. We'll have to take the skin off your bones. Get yourselves ready to battle! So you see, the dry bones are somewhat obedient. Like, they're not crazy. They're just hanging out at a wrestling ring and they obey the rules and stuff. So they show that dry bones do are like. They're not zombies. They're not like crazy and stuff. So I don't see what would be the problem if Koops' dad got eaten and turned into a skeleton because they could still just be hanging out and stuff I don't know <laughs> whatever I just never understood that how they're sometimes evil sometimes they're brainless sometimes they aren't I don't know whatevs we defeated them you have us a winner the gray Gonzalez we did it Mario wow here's your fight money we got ourselves uh, five coins this time rose up to 16 if you'll excuse me I must be going Man, I heard you just knocked some blocks off. Not bad, Double G Dog. 
You're the real deal, man. The realest I've ever seen. Keep busting heads. And if anyone gives you lip, you just tell him King K said to back it up. Biz out. I hurts. Keep quiet. My foot, my leg. Oh, you're fine. Just shut up. Apply pressure right there. Ouch. Do we have a gag, maybe? Come on, get a grip, will ya? Mommy! Out of the way up there. Whoa, sounds like some poor sucker just earned himself a trip to the hospital. Hey man, this is a brutal sport. Sometimes, you know, this stuff happens. I really like his personality. Like, I, sorry to insult you so much, Koops. I just have to compare you two because you're both Koopas. But I really wish he was a party member just because he's so likable. Oh, uh, well, unfortunately not. I wish, even if he was... A party member and his only ability was to just have nice chats with you that would be a great stinking party member to have just to unwind and have a nice little conversation because sometimes that's all you need to get through a tough battle and the next fight is going to be against a spike storm so here's the interesting thing sometimes i don't entirely know what the enemy is going to be because they're not all named after the species that they are so what a spike storm is i'm not entirely sure in this battle i want you to wrap it up in five turns or less interesting Got a date with a cute little chickadee in just a few, and I don't want to be late. Now get in there and bring this puppy home quick. So we'll do what he says, switch to Goombella in case we need her. And we'll wait for the match, basically. Waiting for the match, waiting for the match. Gonzalez, match time, follow me, bub. I remember when uh, reading Captain Underpants back in the day, I just always used the word bub. It was just so stinking funny. I don't know why I stopped, but whatever. Maybe I can get back into the swing of it. Instead of all that stinking talk, I can talk about bubs. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Execution of the Great Gonzalez and the Midnight Spike Bombers. Hey, it's me. Yep, a fight to the finish with Spike Storm. Come on, Mario. Let's get this over with. We're gonna spike bomb you into submission, punks. I'm so happy, though. Get yourselves ready to battle! We got two new enemies this time around. We got Lakitu's and Spinies. I thought it was a different enemy, but it turned out it was something else. So, I'm gonna switch to Goombella, have her tattle on the Spiny. That's a Spiny. Basically, a spike covered Koopa. Ugh, looks painful. Max HP is 3, attack is 3, and defense is 3. These things have such high defense that you can't even hurt them when, they're, when they roll up. So, when they go back into the normal, all you do is damage, do all the damage you can, and do it quickly. If you flip them over, their defense drops to zero. That's the time to take them out. Jumping on them is just plain stupid, so try using a POW block or some other item. Or we could use our, uh, our burp, our Quake Hammer, and flip them over. But they're still alive, so it looks like we're gonna, oh, they flip up very quickly, unlike the other enemies. Uh, that hurt. <laughs> uh, have Goombella tattle on the Lakitu. It's a Lakitu, it's a member of the Koopa clan that rides on clouds. Max HP is 5, attack is 2, and defense is 0. It attacks by throwing spiny eggs. If you stomp on it when it's holding up a spiny egg, you take damage, so don't do it. Spiny eggs slowly hatch into spinies, so beat the Lakitu before the fighting the spinies. Aw, oh, this book doesn't answer my real question. Where does it keep it? Where does it keep all the spiny eggs? I thought it was going to be where the, where's the cloud come from. Uh, we're going to go and use Earth Tremor, just so we can get rid of all of them in one fell swoop, so Grubba could go on his hot sinking date. Still just one star point? You'd think they would give us more because these are all brand new enemies, but I don't understand it. Oh, we got ourselves a winner, the great guy. Uh, look at the cloud! <laughs> it looks so stinking funny. See? No biggie! Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. We received five coins. Mario's ranking rose up to 15. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Get on out of here and have a nice little chat with King K. Hey man, check this. I heard the hot dog stand outside's getting a new menu item. Yeah, it sounds like it's some crazy hot dog made with an egg from a southern island. Some fool was even saying the hot dog will help you win fights. You ought to snack out on one. Hmm, a special deluxe wiener that helps us win fights? Sounds like amazing. Sounds amazing. So let's go ahead and see if we can get one. Head on out here and get ourselves a special deluxe wiener. What the heck's going on out here? A bunch of screaming. Uh, whoa, what are all these toads doing here? Uh, Rock Hog is in the middle just hanging out with the fans, I guess. And geez, so many stinking sprites just hanging out in here. 
<laughs> Everyone wants a piece of the rock. It's a tough life. Here's a little free advice. Try to be me. Yeah, because everyone loves to rock. Well, you know what I say to you and your fans? You blow. Just get rid of all of them. Yeah, just throw them all away. I don't care about you and your singing fans. Yeah, you can actually blow away every single one of his fans. It takes forever to get rid of them all, but you could actually hammer away every single one of them, make them disappear. And I think that'd be very fun, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. That's more I like it. Hey, you, that ain't cool. Don't beat up my fans just because you ain't got none. Yeah, he actually gets mad at me for taking them all out, which is really funny. Uh, Miss Mouse is still just hanging out here, so nothing really uh, new on that front. But let's go out here and see if that special egg wiener is ready. I don't really know how that works, but whatever. Do hot dogs come from eggs? No, bad, still very bad. Behave yourself, egg. I don't remember what voice I gave him. No, bad, come back, help, my imported egg escaped, somebody catch it. We gotta catch a runaway egg, a runaway egg, if you will. I like how he's just walking around, looks all funny and stuff. Uh, let's see if we can catch this thing, just to see if we could run up to it, talk to it, I don't sing a no. You wanna smash it with a hammer and crack it open? Most awfully bad. Come down from their bad egg, how am I supposed to get it now? Fly there? You, don't just stand there with your mustache, find a way to get up there! And it fell asleep, okay. So, we know of a way to get up there, we activated that airplane panel from before, and hey, look, it's the Traveling Sisters 3 from uh, Chapter 1, they've traveled all the way up here. We're the Rough and Tumble, the Battling Traveling Sisters 3. Boy, the boy, those Major League matches just get us so energized. Our knuckles get white, our hearts start pounding, and we snack like no tomorrow. Okay, interesting. We just head up here now. I believe there's a star piece here if I got to get. Uh, no, I thought there was one behind this tree, but I guess not, or behind the boxes, rather. That would have been a very good place to hide one, game developers, just saying, even though there were like a million of them here before, so it's not like they were lacking in star piece hiding, or uh, star piece uh, look thingies and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Collectibles. That was the word. Collectibles. And speaking of collectibles, here's a delectable collectible. Hmm. Now, you wish for us to help you, you darling A. Mario, Hum. what do you think we ought to do? Help the little guy. Let there be hot dogs! Oh, I really want to say that line, but now nah, we'll help the little guy. Fine. A positively endearing choice, Mario. Not that I expect any less. We shall free him. You, sir. Mr. Proprietor, would you allow us to Free this poor soul. Oh, uh, fine. Most people don't like eating stuff that jumps all over the place anyway. Well, that's just lovely. You're free to do whatever you like, dear egg. Farewell. Hmm? What is it now, dear? You wish to accompany us, you adorable thing. I dare say this little dumpling wants to stay with us, Mario. What shall we do? No jumping eggs bug me. Okay, you can follow us, but only because you said dumpling, it reminds me of Sylvia, and Sylvia's my friend. You're all clear, little one, but do try not to get underfoot, alright? And the egg has joined our party. Hooray, we have a bouncing egg just hanging out with us now. And we got an email, so let's see what that's all about. Uh, important things, mailbox. Oh, random issue number two. Oh, great, it's gonna be boring. <sighs> Rogue poor today, old Toad settles in. It's come to light that after settling into life at our inn, Toad's worth age 60. Is this the only game that actually tells us how old he is? Has often been spotted in a company of Zest T, age 55. Oh, Toad's worth, you sly dog, you. The notoriously finicky Zest T surprised all when she was heard saying, What's wrong with spending time with my little two total toes? What? The possibility such a comment opens has our eyes and ears glued to the situation. Shop reporters go! Our focus on attention this week, Pungent's Great Tree Shop. Pungent's easygoing, easygoing management philosophy is money and girls are fickle, so easy come, easy go, you know? He fully understands why his shop isn't busier too. We're any good... We're well hidden, but like any good treasure, we're worth looking for. We're, lo we're worth looking for. I can't speak today. He even has a special offer of for our DM readers. The for the next five, 15 minutes, I'll give you double shop points. 
I wonder if you could actually go back to Boggly Woods within 15 minutes and get those double shot points. I doubt it, but whatever. Cooking for rookies. Today's yummy recipe, spicy soup. Steep a fire flower in hot water and presto, you're done. Uh, the perfect first meal for kids to cook. Editors know the we've been working all night to bring you this edition of RDM. Look forward to more hot, hot news in issue three, coming soon. I wish about reports restoration community. Very interesting. So I love that they have Toadsworth and Zesty getting it on and stuff like that, but uh, do we get ourselves the shroom fry or whatever it was? I saw there was a shroom fry, but was that made from a fire flower? Tasted just made by Zesty. It doesn't tell you what I used for it. So no, that shroom fry is just the regular mushroom. Um, so we haven't used that yet. We need to go ahead and get ourselves a spicy soup. Oh, we know we got the spicy soup, so uh, we don't have to worry about that for later, but it's a good thing that they tell you about it. So you just keep on going now that we got the egg with us. Though, I think we're going to let this egg settle for a while and we're going to end things off right here. Next time on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, we are going to continue our way through the Glitz Pit, now with an egg! This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.